Christina Elizabeth. I have been doing this show for over six years now. And if you look back, you'll see that there's been a huge transformation in my life. And it didn't just happen. It happened very specifically because of the power of my choices. I'm not saying that I made all the right choices, but as Maya Angelou says, you do the best you can with what you have. And when you know better, you do better. Last month, the month of May was Mental Health Awareness Month. And it was great. There was uh, so many um, educators, influencers putting out information about that. But I don't want you to stop just because it's a new month. I very specifically want people to understand that we are transformed by the renewing of our mind. Just as I've said in the past, you can't step in the same river twice. Why? Because that river changes as soon as it moves, it's a different environment. You're stepping into a completely different river. And just in the same way, as we make choices, our lives will reflect those choices. Now, if you watch, ever have watched, or maybe you should Google it, watch how a butterfly transforms. It's not an overnight procedure or process. It very specifically takes time. It's very strategic. So if you think that you're going to, you know, do some push-ups today and by the end of the week you're, you know, going to be able to lift the fridge, you're not going to be able to because you're not thinking realistically. If you are going to make a lifelong change, it's going to start every day very specifically with your choices. To become a new you, it's very important for you to remember that the new you is being transformed by everything that you put into your mind, everything that you put into your stomach, everything that you put in your ears and your eyes. Your influencers, your environment change. So again, don't let other people make your choices. This is very, very important. We as a society have been over fueled. We have so much education, we have so much knowledge that we go into defaults. And I think sometimes, I'm not saying everybody, but I think sometimes the danger of too much information and a flood is that we forget how to think critically and we'll just take in knowledge without saying, well, why do they claim that this is true? Because just because somebody says something doesn't actually mean it's true. That's what critical thinking is, is going in, in deeper. Don't just take what you hear on the news. Don't hear, take in what you hear in the media. Don't take what you hear in social media. And don't even take what you hear here. I want you to investigate. This is your life. You only get one. Be your own advocate. Be your own influencer and start doing some research just a little bit. One of my favorite tools is Google Scholars. And the, there's another one, PubMed.gov. So both of these help you to navigate. It creates kind of a funnel. And when you create the funnel, it gets out all the junk. Google Scholar and PubMed eliminate opinions. And now these are based off of researchers. This is an amazing thing. I hope that you add this to your research when you're looking. And if you're listening to influencers, don't hesitate to reach out and say, why do you think this way? Don't just take everything that you hear as though it is 100% fact. Because the thing is, we, 100% of us, are all deceived in some level. We don't have full knowledge. So please, just because Mental Health Month May is over doesn't mean that you shouldn't take the health of your, of your uh, emotional state, your mental state seriously for the rest of the year. Be encouraged. Don't let this stop you from continuing your journey. Take some opportunities, some, some time today. Think about who you want to become and remember that we are transformed by the renewing of our mind. Our choices matter.